Hey guys, this is Tanuja here, Mind Body Transformer and Digestion Wiz with a background in holistic nutrition. And I empower high achievers just like you to get your mojo back by helping you reconnect with your true self and by helping you nourish your body and your mind optimally. Now, I want to talk to you about stress today. And, you know, I guess it's a very common word and, you know, there is a lot that is being said these days about stress and ways of de-stressing and, you know, how it affects you. And yet I find a lot of people are not really sure how stress is actually affecting their lives. And I wonder if you are one of them. So one of the questions I always ask people that, you know, who are interested in working with me um, you know, do I, we get on a discovery call, it's about 30 minutes on the phone and we, we go over uh, health concerns that you have and we figure out what might be at the root of those and whether I'm the right person to help you or not. Irrespective of the kind of concern you have, whether you have sugar cravings, whether you have digestive issues, food sensitivities, whether you have uh, lack of energy, Whatever the, the health concern may be that you, you are coming to talk to me for, I always ask you one question. How are your stress levels? And if I asked you to rate it from um, a scale, say, of 1 to 10, I want to know how do you rate your stress levels. And that gives me a very key um, indicator of what's going on with your life and how are you able to manage it. Now, if you're listening to this live or whether you're coming back and listening to the recording, do this exercise with me now. Rate your stress levels on an average, not at this particular moment, but on an average, if I asked you how are your stress levels, give me a number from 1 to 10, what would your number be? Right. So do this for yourself and make a mental note of this. A lot of times people will tell me six, seven, sometimes nine, sometimes even ten, depending on what's going on with your life uh, at that particular time. Very rarely have I seen anybody go below six. The most popular answer I get is seven, eight or nine. Now that tells me that your stress levels are high. but. When I ask you, so what do you feel about that? Um, do, do you feel stressed out? One of the most common answers I get also is, no, I can manage it. I think I'm okay with the stress. Okay, now that is key number two. So the first key for me was what number you gave me. Second is your response to the number. So when you give me a number like say seven, eight or nine, eight or Age or anything about it is definitely high, right? So when you give me a number that is that high and then you tell me that I'm not really affected by it, that's a lie. And I'm not saying that you're lying consciously because in your mind, you're able to manage that stress and that's why you feel you're okay. How it affects your body is through your symptoms. So you need to start recognizing how stress is affecting your body. What is going on in terms of symptoms that you can correlate with stress? And here are some keys. The first thing that you can think about is energy levels. When we are stressed, our energy levels are low. So mentally, your your mind is almost justifying your stress levels and it's telling you that, oh, I'm not stressed, I'm okay, I'm managing. But what is going on physiologically, on a hormonal level, or on a chemical level in your body, it's a whole different story. And that will show up as lack of energy. That will show up as weight gain, which is stubborn weight gain. So if you tell me, oh, I'm not able to lose weight no matter how much I diet, no matter how much I exercise, I just can't seem to lose that weight, stubborn weight, what's wrong with me? Most likely, it's the stress. Because stress throws your cortisol levels off the balance, and uh, cortisol is a, a, a fat um, hoarding hormone, let's, let's put it that way. So it could be, um, you know, showing in your body as weight gain. It could be showing in your body as energy levels, like I said. It could be showing up as 
sugar cravings or emotional eating for you. Now most of us know that when we are stressed we either overeat or we don't eat at all and that is because of the way our blood sugars are affected and for everybody it's different. We react differently but if you are constantly eating emotionally which means you're eating even when you're not hungry, physically hungry in your stomach like your stomach is not growling, there are no butterflies in your stomach, but you're just eating because now you're bored or you're eating because you have, um, you know, uh, you have this deadline coming up and you don't know how to manage the stress and unconsciously or subconsciously you're reaching out for, um, for something sweet. That's how stress will show up in your body. It'll show up uh, as hormonal issues, as for women, for uh, menstrual cycle, you know, premenstrual syndrome. There'll be hormonal ups and downs. You might be craving sugar, you might be ch craving chocolates, or you might start craving salty things like chips and pretzels, which in turn um, are basically sugar because they're carbs and they convert to sugar in the body. So there are different ways in which stress affects your body. So really start understanding what's going on with your body. What are the symptoms you are experiencing? Stress will also show up as digestive issues, right? IBS, and I, I've had IBS for such a long time um, that I know every time I used to be stressed, my stomach would act up and it could be doing the same for you. Whether you have diarrhea, whether you have constipation, doesn't matter. Your um, stress affects your gut very, very strongly and it could manifest either as area for you or as constipation for some people. So digestive uh, issues also start cropping up at the same time. Um, there are several ways in which stress affects you. So when you're telling me, oh, it's okay and I'm able to manage it and yet you feel out of control, yet you feel that, you know, oh, I'm getting irritated and snappy and um, I'm not pleasant to be around anymore and people are literally shying away from, you know, um, chatting with me or my family or my kids don't come near me anymore because they never know when I'm going to snap at them and scream and shout. These are all the effects of stress and you need to start recognizing this. It's a big thing. I'm seeing this more and more with people and I really wanted to come and talk to you about it because it is affecting you on so many different levels physically, right? So when you manage stress and you're still able to meet that deadline at work or you're still able to manage everything at home, say if you have a sick family member or you're going through financial hardships or some other you know, relationship issues, that stress is there mentally which you think you're managing and then there's the physical manifestation of that stress. And I am concerned with both, right? Because our body and our mind, they, they, are, they, they are working in sync all the time. Here's your body, here's your mind, there's a fusion of it and that constitutes your well-being. That shows you where your health is at. So when you say, I want to be more healthy, you've got to start monitoring your stress levels. You've got to monitor how you're feeding your body and how you're feeding your mind. It's very, very important. So one of the best ways to tackle stress, of course, is monitor the thought patterns that you have. What is it that you're thinking about? Is it true? Um, you know, how can you change and be more positive uh, thinking? And I know it sounds very cliched, but it is basically all in our heads, right? How is it that one person in, um, you know, if two people are given the same situation, one person can react very positively to it, whereas the other person gets, you know, totally pulled down and is depressed by it um, or can get uh, very sad and negative about it. So it is really about perception. So really start examining your thought patterns and make sure that you're fueling your body also right. So with wholesome fresh fruits and vegetables and whole grains and healthy fats and lean meat, these are whole foods that will fuel you from the cellular level and energize you from the inside out. So it's really, really, really important that you understand what is going into your body through your plate, through your mouth, is as important as what thoughts are going into your mind and how you're processing those. It's a combination of the two. It's never one or the other by itself. At certain times, you might be eating crappier because you're more stressed and, you know, vice versa. So it's, it's just uh, sometimes very complex, but 
th that's where you know when you work with me we figure out what's going on both in your physical world in your symptoms in your um, mental world like what what dialogue are you having with yourself it's a combination of the two holistic nutrition is about finding that holistic approach it's the mind body and spirit it's never just about the food don't eat this don't eat that sometimes just taking care of your stress levels and having the strategies that we go over in our customized one-on-one -on -one sessions is good enough to get rid of your sugar cravings or emotional eating and then your weight starts dropping and your energy levels increase and it's just um you know a snowball effect from there onwards so it's a very delicate balance of where do you start first? Do you do it both simultaneously? And that's where I step in and I sort of chart out that custom program for you. So if you feel that you have been, you know, stressed, especially so for an extended period of time, you don't want to get to the point where it results in chronic exhaustion or adrenal fatigue, because that is a place then it's very hard to pull you. It's of course, you know, you can recover from it, but the damage is more or less done by then and your adrenal glands are so fatigued that it needs support in terms of a medication or supplements to boost your energy levels. Up. So you really want to catch it before it gets out of hand. And with stress being so rampant, it is important that we take action now rather than wait for tomorrow and day after. And let me tell you, there is never a, the perfect time that will emerge upon you. Oh, I have got this project and my kids' exams are going on or I have family coming over or I'm traveling. There's never going to be a perfect time. There's always something happening in life. So you need to make sure that you're prioritizing it and making this you know like a top first on your list because otherwise you'll just be feeling more tired you'll be gaining more weight you'll be feeling crappier you might have breakouts more digestive issues and we don't want that we want to live fully we want to live energetically we want to be able to do the things that you know that make us happy so get on with it figure out what's going on and if you can't reach out, let's chat and figure out um, what I can do for you. I do customized um, 12 or 90 day, uh, 12 sessions or 90 day packages. And that's how I work one on one with you. So we are really getting down to the root cause of your issues and what's causing your symptoms and how can we get rid of them, address them from the root onwards so that it's just gone, eliminated, and you can go on with your life right so um i'll talk to you again soon hope you found this helpful if you're watching this on the replay feel free to leave me a comment ask me a question i'll come back and answer it for you and i'll see you soon take care bye